Malo Ole, this is Fresh TV, hosted by your girl, Dinah Jane, coming to you live from the City of Angels. Tip number two, respect one another. Try not to think you know everything. Positive vibes, you know what I'm saying? Hi, my name is Dinah Jane. Home to me is Orange County, California. I am a singer, songwriter, um, and entertainer. It started at home. My grandma uh, would force me to the piano and be like, sing this song. And I would sing hymns with her, and then it started at church. But then to take it to such a professional level, um, it started like at 11 years old, 11, 12. So much has changed since then. I was 19. I was in a girl group. Destiny's Child, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I wish. Uh, Fifth Harmony. Um, from 2016 to now, I've uh, become a solo artist. I've released a lot, lots of my own music. Um, and lots of life has happened actually since 2016 that I'm so grateful has happened. I've changed management a few times and um, I used to be with a record label and now being an independent artist, I have so much more freedom. And I realize the type of freedom I have now, which is so liberating. And um, you know, they've had so many great ideas, of course, of like, you know, you're top notch, you're top tier, we need to keep you like a international girl and um, going up against certain pop artists. But really deep down inside, I didn't want to replicate anyone but myself. I just always felt there was a piece missing, which was, you know, being Polynesian, being an, um, a Polynesian artist. So with that, it always like conflicted of like, okay, who do I cater to? Like, do I become this pop girl and give them what they want? Or do I also, do I try my best to mesh the two and at least have a balance? For the past couple of years, I've been running. I've been a runner. I wanted to run away from everything. And so walking back into this space, um, it's been such a journey. You know, some days I want it, some days I don't. And um, I have to sometimes clock out and realize, you know, when I see messages from fans or see uh, my family geek out from new music that I'm creating, it confirms that I belong in this space. So healing is something, like I said, I've always, I've been practicing for so long and I can't wait for the world to see that, for you guys to all indulge it and I can't wait to just grow in front of you guys and not hide behind it anymore because I'm still healing and it's not something that just happens overnight and it's completely gone. It's forever with you type of thing. And so I am just always trying to create a space as well where there's positive people around me that keep me online and keep me in a space where I feel like I'm going forward rather than taking a few steps back because I always take myself back myself and I'd rather go towards people who have better energy. The music that I'm creating is everything that I've kind of endured. You know, I've lost so many family members throughout the past couple of years. And um, that also took a, a pause of why I didn't want to do this anymore. Um, real life situations that I've encountered with my family you know, falling in love, you know, love will make you do crazy things. And so you're gonna get all the tea with everything I've that's happened in my music. And I can't wait for you guys to hear the healing parts of me. It looks like that, perfect, yeah. Let's see what that looks like with the light. You could go ahead and fix it, babe. I'm just gonna test the flash. This new season for me looks happy. I'm so much happier. I'm very content with where I am. And I'm confident, I'm so much more confident with what I've created and what I'm sharing with you guys this round. This song to me is like a prayer. I feel like it's the perfect introduction into this transition of being Dinah. But this song is my baby, and I hope you guys take it with so much love and care.
I'm Stas. And this is Fresh Tips with Brooke and Stas, where we give you big sister tips that you didn't ask for. Today we're gonna talk about siblings. Starting with our first tip, try not to argue. We can actually have conversations whānau without being aggressive, okay, all right? So if, if there's a little bit of conflict between your siblings, let's try to talk it out. Keep the peace in the household, okay? Tip number two, respect one another. Try not to think you know everything because we have our own opinions, so it's really important to respect one another. Mm. Hey. hey. So, you know, we keep the relationship healthy and good. Positive vibes, you know what I'm saying? And our third tip, put each other first. Yeah, so put one another first, be there for one another. If I put stars first, I'm hoping <laughs> she's gonna put me first and then happy family. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. If I'm putting in an effort to be there for her, then when like things turn around, she's gonna be there for me. So I think, when's the last time I did that? Yesterday? Oh, come on. Oh, no, nah, I can't remember, but it happens often. <laughs> And our last tip is to encourage one another. I think it's important to always speak life into those that you love because whether you know it or not, they're listening and what you say matters. So make sure that you're only speaking life into your whānau. Good things only. Good things. No bad negative talk. <laughs> take our tips or don't take our tips, but I highly recommend you do. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. I'm looking forward to just getting ready. I just want to get dolled up and then go to sleep. <laughs>
because I'm also a Sao Luan. And so having a Sao Luan at the end of items would be very important, especially for my grandma. And a Mecca. Always important to have a Mecca at your Nguyen wedding, because if you don't, then it's not Nguyen. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it fresh! Thank you for coming to our new way and wedding. Keep, Keep it, it fresh! fresh. Kia ora everyone, my name is Zach Martin. And my name is Jake Martin. And today we will be playing Guess, guess the, the food. food. We got five items to try, to guess, and whoever guesses them first wins a point. The catches, we will be doing it all blindfolded. Cool. Let's get into it. A little feel. Ooh. A little feel. <laughs> Zaki's favourite. <laughs> Zaki's favourite. It's all gin. It's Interesting texture. Ooh. So it's a nice <laughs> What is that? <laughs> um, it tastes like raisins, it tastes like dates, it tastes like. Um, Tastes like my childhood, like when mum mm. used to give it to us. Apricots. No, no, um, what do you do it when, in the tree of nuts? Is cranberries. Cranberries. A blackberry? A go, go berry. A go, uh, goju. Goju berry. Goju. Gojo. Go bro. Goju, goju berry. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that in my life. You can take that. Oh. It smells like cabbage. Sauerkraut? Ooh! Oh. Nice, Jakey! <laughs> I don't like it, Jake. That was sharp! Mm. Bro, you got that really quick. How did you know it was sauerkraut? I think I've had it on my sushi before. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> Bro, that was good. It's too new, though. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Zeki. <laughs> too new. Too new. Come on. On yeah. a plate Three. this time. Ooh. Ooh, smells a bit sweet. Ooh. Ooh. It's a funny. Ooh. Funny, um, it's a fluffy egg. Um, shortbread. <laughs> <laughs> shortbread. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, though. It tastes like short. Marshmallow? Oh. Japanese like, ice cream. Those, uh, ooh. What is that called? Japanese ice cream. Moti? Motu. <laughs> Mohi. Oh, Mogi. M O G I. <laughs> Mochi. <laughs> Ooh. Smells like some type of green. Green bean. Rhubarb. <laughs> Chestnut. Ooh. I promise you, that, that was the wildest guess ever. Well done. I've never had I that would in my never life. I've got that. Oh, um, those are. Uh, uh, sticks. Uh, chocolate sticks. Chocolate sticks? No, 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 no. Oh, I thought I was away. Do I give you the clues? <laughs> they're like, uh, they're like the mochi. But, what do you mean they're like the mochi? Oh, poke sticks. <laughs> Pokey sticks. No <laughs> way. No. <Nah. laughs> Let's oh. go. So that was a very close game. Four one to Jake. But no, nonetheless, Thank you for chilling with us, guys. Until next time, keep it fresh. There you go. Thank you for staying tuned with me on this episode. Next, we're gonna head into a game of Village Knockout. and warm Pacific greetings to another round of Village Knockout! Okay, this is a game where two teams battle it head to head in two mini game rounds, okay? So the winner of those two games wins it all, but if there's somehow a tiebreaker at the end, we will go to sudden death. 
Yeah, I'll pause for awkward dramatic effect. Thank you. OK, let's meet our challengers. Hi, I'm George. I'm 18, and I'm Team Creative. I'm Tyron, and I am the captain of Team Creative. Bolivinaka, contestant number three from the beautiful islands of Fiji, Nathan Mangalevu, Team Dancer. Talofa, my name is Justice. I am Samuel Modi, and I am Team Dancer. We have the dancers versus the creatives. Round one is a game called Prop Off! <laughs> OK, this is a game where I give them a prop and they are to use it as anything else than the actual intended use. Are you guys ready? Yep. Yeah, buddy. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? You see it? You see it? And guard. Guard. Yes. Point, point. OK, throw the ball. Throw the ball. Ready? Oh, they're doing two. Yeah, I see. It's a baseball bat. Yeah, that is our point. Work together. They said, ooh. Oh, oh, that's a toilet paper! Why? <laughs> that's a porn! <laughs> eh, it's a roll-off for Becky. Yes, Becky, yes. yeah. Ooh, are you doing the same thing, Becky, oh. but like with your legs? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, who used the bathroom last? <laughs> Ew. Plunger. Yeah. Point. Plunger. Point. Oh, you shit! That is no a shame. point! No shame! No shame! Okay, that's a point, that's a point, that's a point, okay. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, Got cool, cool, cool. Oh my gosh, my hair is so wet. Yeah, it's the blow dryer. Point. Drop the weapon. Oh my gosh, it's the gun. Point. Yeah. See the clapping? So when they wash up? See ya. Yep, my look. It's our phone. Point. Orca, it's so heavy, but this is the prop. Oh my gosh, it's a snake. It's a snake. Point, I like. <laughs> Superman, yes. point, I like it. Is that a soap or like a aftershave? Siosarin. Siosarin. Mm. Siosa, no point. Go down. Five, four. Oh my god, I see it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll have to give this round to Team Dancers. Woo so, round one, Team Dancers! Cheers. Time for our second round, which is called. The Get Down! Woo! <laughs> okay, two teams will face each other with a jandal in the middle, okay? I will then instruct certain actions to do. Then I will ask a question. Any team member who picks up the jandal can either tell their other team member to answer the question or can offer it to the opposing team member, but they cannot answer the question themselves. So are we ready, team? Get yeah, down! Let's do this. Oh, face the jandal. Knees, toes, pinky toe, ears. Where is Lovel from? BG Duh! Yeah! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Touch your gluteus maximus, your chest, hair. Mm -hmm. Who named Tonga the friendly islands? <laughs> <laughs> um, Captain James Cook. Captain James, you're right. Yeah! yeah. It's one, one. Turn around, shake that thing. <laughs> Turn back around and touch your chest. And what year was the Treaty of Waitangi signed? Signed, bro. 1840. Damn, that, that is correct. Wow. 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 Are you ready? Are you ready? Touch your earlobes. <laughs> Touch your hair again. Another body part of your hair. Your, sh your armpits. Your armpits. Your armpits. Which country was formerly known as the Gilbert Islands? I'll give it to him this time. <laughs> Kiribati. Kiribati is right, that is too old. Left hand, right shoulder. Right hand, left shoulder. And hop on one leg. How many stars are on the Cook Island flag? Woo! OK, this is a make or break. Are you going to give it to the team or are you going to give it to your teammates? 12. 12? No. You're three off. Oh. <laughs> It was a very close round, but was it? So, <laughs> so the winner goes to Team Dancers. And Team Creatives were just very creative. <laughs> Join us next time on another round of 
Village It was my pleasure hosting you today for the Katas and reintroducing you into my world. Wishing you all a happy Music Month in Aotearoa and happy AAPI Month in the US. Until next time, keep it fresh. Wanna doing? Wait, wait. Wanna doing? Wanna doing? Huh? Wanna doing? <laughs> next, next, next. Stage!